Every night, as I attempt to unwind, I lose the battle as restlessness tries to overtake me. I am Mandy Rain, and this is my story of why I run. Sit down and finish your homework. Mandy was a baby. She was always very active and we knew that we had an active little girl on our hands when she started walking at eight months old. When Mandy was two she decided that she didn't want to take naps anymore and uh, I made her go in to her room and just play she had, but she had to stay in there for an hour and when she did that, when she didn't have to lay down or nap, she was much happier, she kept busy, and um, her mood was much better than after she'd been like inactive for a while. When I, uh, when I think of Mandy as a little girl, I, I think of constant movement, of her skipping and, and jumping, and, and she couldn't, she was not one to sit still. And if she didn't have five things going on at once, she wasn't happy. I remember when I was in the third grade and I had a teacher that recognized that I had a really hard time sitting still. And so she made me a special spot in the back of the classroom where I could stand and learn. When Mandy was six and seven years old, she, she always wanted to drive the boat when we were out on the lake. And so I'd let her steer the boat or she'd sit in my lap and steer the boat. And so when she was seven, I decided to teach her how to drive the, the fishing boat that we had a 14 foot aluminum boat. And so we went out into the bay and she's going around in circles and immediately she's going full speed around in circles. And after going around for probably 10 minutes and decided that that was probably enough for right now. I asked her to head for the dock and and before I had a chance to turn around again and see how close we were to the dock, I hear there was a crash and we ran right into the dock and uh, we both had a good laugh about it and uh, it's one of my great memories. Ever since Mandy was a small child, She's been very strong-willed, and I've always said to everyone that it's sometimes hard to raise a strong-willed child, but it has made her a self-confident and motivated woman, which I'm very proud of. Ever since my third grade teacher illuminated my need for movement, I've developed an interest in that topic. In fact, I'm so passionate about it that I decided to study it for my dissertation. Through that work, evidence emerged supporting the influence of movement on mood and on 
your ability to focus. A friend once told me, happiness is something you create. When my body is moving, I'm able to let go of the things that don't matter and focus on the things that bring me joy. So one of the things that troubles me when I'm running is this. Everywhere I go, he's chasing me. Oh, hi, can I get a uh, Meat Lover's large pizza delivered to uh, 111 Mountain Lake Road? 30 minutes? Awesome, thanks, see you soon, bye. I think you're gonna get it. <laughs> So we're about 22 and a half miles in. We've got about a mile to go. Mandy, how are you doing? I'm doing great. On a scale of 1 to 87, I'm still at an 87. Yeah, what? Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> 